Hey guys, what's up? Um, today uh, I'm in a good mood, so I decided to make the motion tracking tutorial using Buju, Sony Vegas, and Cinema 4D. Um, this is gonna be a little advanced, um, so if you don't want advanced um, tutorial, just go out from here, please. Okay, now first of all, let's get started by opening Sony Vegas and get your cinematics. Um, 10 likes for this cinematic. Um, all you need to do is go to file properties and you see the frame rate make it to 30 and make sure it's 30 okay and click ok and after that go to right uh, right click properties on the video main aspect ratio disable for example if you want you can um, check main aspect ratio for some people yeah likes this lines I do so and change the resolution if you want I'm gonna make it the uh, 60 IHD um, yeah that's it uh, we're done by Sony Vegas all we need to do is file render as um, uh, yeah render as um, where the hell is, uh, yeah PNG sequence and just you need a new folder for this I'm not gonna do this but you just need to click save I'm not gonna do this because I already created mine over here now yes, after you did this, so you just open Bojo 5.0 or any Bojo version you got. So we're done here by Sony Vegas. Um, remember, 10 likes for the video for this cinematic. Um, yeah. Now close this. Damn. Yeah. Now we're we're in Bojo. Um, what you need to do is click on import sequence and just find out uh, find the uh, the PNG sequence that we just created um, just click on the first one here don't click on the seventh eight just click on the zero zero one click open now make the frame rate remember we made it 30 so we're gonna make to make to do it 30 again click apply you see that uh, Oh, just a second. No. Um, now frame rate will be transferred to 25. Just make it 30 again. Okay. Apply. Close. Now uh, we're in Bojo. Uh, if you scroll through this, we see that all the videos here. So what we need to do now? Go to the beginning. Click on track features. Make sure all frames and sequence one is selected and click start. Um, yeah, this may take a, f a couple minutes so I'll pause the video and when it's done I'll be back hey guys um, yeah I'm back it took me uh, five minutes I think to render this okay now um, as you see here these red dots means uh, that the video is motion tracked it's being recognized now okay so what we're gonna do now is go to uh, uh, camera solve and all frames sequence one and make sure you click on optimize camera path smoothness and click start this finishes quickly and it depends on the length of your video my video is um, about 13 seconds but also the track features depends on the size and the um, and the length of the video you know yeah so it's done here this most of the video is motion track now see here is uh, if you want to know how it's motion track the dots aren't moving a lot you know the dots are in its place so yeah what you need to do now is go to the middle about the middle of the, your video go to scene geometry this is the hardest part in the um, in the motion track so be careful we're gonna click add coordinates from end and as you see here this is called origin what does origin mean it's called the middle so uh, we want our text to be here in the middle so just we find the most place that is in the middle so this is I think this is the most middle here so click on uh, when you select it it's gonna be highlighted in green collect and connect to select it now click on add coordinates from in but the type we're gonna make it x-axis x-axis runs um, horizontal so 
we're gonna make I mean uh, we're gonna tell Cinema 4D and Bojo that this is the the width of our cinematic you know so we're gonna um, select two points maybe this one and this one and click connect to select it now the last one and the last step of all click on add coordinate from hint and the type we're gonna change it to z-axis z-axis runs horizontal but it's gonna also be the depth and the length of the video you know so just let's find two points maybe this one and this one maybe these are running uh, vertical and click on connect to select it and update frames a few times you know now sometimes you can be um, let's uh, try to add a text object yeah it's in the middle pretty damn middle but I mean in the beginning is gonna be a little hard uh, you may find this text upside down and stuff so try don't give up I know it's fucking annoying but Add geometry depends also on your math, so if you didn't take good math in school, so then you're fucking retaught. Okay, now click on update coordinates sometimes. Yeah, guys, um, here is it in the middle. Um, so, yeah, we're done in Bojo. What we need to do is click on export, export camera solve, and uh, go to export type. We're gonna put it on Cinema 4D and the scale this is the most important part the scale make it to a hundred this is important huh? so click on save um, shit where the hell did I save it oh I'm stupid fuck me fuck me I'm stupid I'll add it on my desktop um, fuck me fuck me and uh, cinema 4d and 100 yeah so click on save it's here um, just double click it and we're gonna be in cinema 4d now um, yeah when I'm cinema 4d uh, I'll pause the video and start again okay guys we're in cinema 4d now as you remember in Bojo we made the scale to 100 but this one we're gonna make it 10 centimeters so it's okay click okay as you see here, there are, these are the dots that we have motion tracked, you know. It's gonna be shit and stuff, but just double click here to create a new material. If you don't know how, just create new material, but just double click easier. Yeah, and double click this, make sure color is selected, texture, um, load image. And now, concentrate with me please this time. We're gonna put the video that we had before, um, we put it on Sony Vegas. I know I mean um, before we did the PNG the original video we need to put this one the original one before we transferred it to a PNG you know so click open uh, no and yeah uh, just go to this one uh, background I'm saying uh, I'm cinema for the R13 so just create a new background put a background over here yeah now what you want to do is uh, more graph, uh, more text, and just type the text easily. But I'll tell you how, cause it's uh, kind of tricky for you. So just type any text you want. I'm gonna type in recon, and uh, I'm just gonna change the font real quick. Jared and 50 maybe. And make sure f caps um, fill a cap, and the end is fill a cap, and just drag this over here. We're gonna increase the size here real quick. Um, yeah, and now if you want to make it near or far, just don't move it like this. Um, just do with these arrows, you know. So yeah, it's here, good, I think. Now what you need to do is add some shadowing. So we're gonna add um, a floor and um, click on the on the material control and duplicate it to the floor and now go to right click on the floor cinema 4d tags and uh, compositing now go to tags disable self shadowing and enable compositing um, uh, 
yeah it's, uh, it's bad right now but if we just add light now uh, no uh, light yes um, over here it's gonna be it's gonna suck also but I'll tell you what yeah it's not that bad I'm gonna move my text a little over here I'm gonna enlarge it yes and that's it um, what you need to do now is create a new material if you want to color your text I'm just gonna make a light greenish color and uh, yeah that's good now go to reflection enable it maybe about 22% uh, and textures enable a friend fresnel or friends or whatever you call it if you want you can add a little bit of glow but uh, maybe about uh, 7% out and 8% uh, um, yeah um, now drag this material to your mold text to render this out um, no this one uh, bad so we're gonna disable the glow and the frenzel we don't want the frenzel so uh, none maybe um, I'm just gonna click ctrl Z <laughs> yeah a reflection 22 only this is good now add the matte uh, material over here um, yeah this is good real good um, so now what you want to do is uh, as you see here the the shadow isn't so clear so we're gonna make a smart shadow by going to this the render settings effects ambient occlusion and we're gonna make the maximum ray lines to 150 and the contrast to about 40 yeah it's gonna be taking a lot of time to render but as you see here there's like little um, shadow this is a smart shadowing you know if you want now you can just add uh, your stupid things you know maybe a poly effect and change out the video I'm gonna make it like this for now maybe yeah it's broken yeah no, it's good for now so yeah guys um, this was our tutorial let's see if it's tracked now it's gonna move with the with the flow but don't worry now concentrate with me uh, your video must know its length 90, se 90 frames means um, 3 seconds so just move it to the max if you want the max the hold of the video but I don't want the whole so I want it about 27 frames yeah, this uh, maybe 240 also. This is good. We're gonna stand over here to see how is it. If you don't believe me, it's here. It's in, in its place. It's pretty damn motion track. Um, I guess we maybe need to move uh, the text a little bit more. So if we click on here, um, it's gonna take some time rendering, but uh, it's okay. Um, yeah that's it guys um, thanks for the thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe and tell me what you want my um, next tutorial to be and uh, yeah uh, thanks guys oh and yeah guys sorry I forgot to tell you about the render so just real quick tutorial here. just go to the um, render settings save and make it to uh, AVI movie if you're uh, Mac Apple Macintosh just make it to quick time I'm just gonna name it here and put it to anybody th th any place I'm gonna make it here recon and just click save um, output resolution 72 everything's okay your length your uh, custom uh, resolution yeah after that just click on this button okay now guys thanks